Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the circuit based on the logic gates. And here we have been given that the propagation delay of the each logic gate is equal to 20 nanosecond. So here, before the time t is equal to 0, the inputs a and c is equal to 0, while the b is equal to 1. And at time t is equal to 0, all the inputs have been flipped. That means now, this a and c is equal to 1 and the b is equal to 0. So here, we have been asked that for time t greater than 0, for a what time, this output z will remain 1. So here, in the given logic circuit, the propagation delay of the each logic gate is equal to 20 nanosecond. So let's say, the output of the NOT gate is equal to x, while the output of this AND gate is equal to y. So now, with the help of the timing diagram, let us see how this output z changes with the time. So here, for t less than 0, this input a and c is equal to 0, while the b is equal to 1. So here, before time t is equal to 0, since b is equal to 1, so this output x will remain 0. And here, this output y is equal to a dot x. That means before time t is equal to 0, this y will also remain 0. So here, this output z is equal to y x or c. So this output will be equal to 1 when both inputs are different. So before time t is equal to 0, since both y and c is equal to 0, so this output z will also remain 0. Now at t is equal to 0, all the inputs have been flipped. That means now, this input a and c will become 1, while the input b will become 0. So now let us see how this logic circuit will respond to the input changes. So first of all, since now b is equal to 0, so this output x will become 1. But since the propagation delay of the NOT gate is equal to 20 nanosecond, so this output x will become 1 after the 20 nanosecond. So here, this is time slot is equal to 20 nanosecond. So here, this y is equal to a dot x. And from the diagram as you can see, up to this 20 nanosecond, since x is equal to 0, so this output y will remain 0. But after that, since both a and x are equal to 1, so this output y will also become 1. But because of the propagation delay of this AND gate, it will respond to that input just after the 20 nanosecond. That means overall if you see, then after the 40 nanosecond, this output y will become 1. So now, this z is equal to this y x or c. And from the timing diagram as you can see, after the t is equal to 0, during the first 40 nanosecond, these inputs c and y are different. Because here, the input c is equal to 1, while for the first 40 nanosecond, this input y is equal to 0. And therefore, during this time, the output of this XOR gate will become 1. But as you know, since the propagation delay of the XOR gate is equal to 20 nanosecond, so it will respond to that input chain just after the 20 nanosecond. That means after the 20 nanosecond, this output z will become 1 for the 40 more nanoseconds. And then after 1 second it will become 0. So as you can see from the timing diagram, for this 40 nanoseconds, this output z will become 1. So from this we can say that for the given question, the answer is equal to 40 nanosecond.